Hey everybody. So a couple of months ago, I posted a video about a product called DBAN, or a project called DBAN. And what it is, is a live Linux CD that allows you to securely format a hard drive before you get rid of it. So let's say that you've outlived the use of your computer and you want to donate it to Goodwill, or you want to donate it to a school, or even a neighborhood child. You don't want all of your personal financial records and all of your, uh, your pictures and family items floating around on your hard drive. You can use DBAN to securely delete them from your hard drive. Now, notice I'm using the word securely. Uh, because I want to make a difference between the way you normally delete things when you format a drive and what DBAN does. When you normally just format a drive, the information is not actually removed. And so if you format your drive and wipe it clean and then donate your computer to someone, they can recover most, if not all, of the information that was on the drive. Uh, that's just the way operating systems work. Um, on the other hand, if you use something like DBAN or numerous other tools that are out there, um, it securely erases your drive in that not only does it erase the drive but then it fills it with random numbers and random garbage so that the files uh, just aren't recoverable anymore. Now in my other YouTube video that I posted which I believe was a CNET video I've been getting a lot of questions because people don't really understand how to use DBAN properly. So in this video I kind of want to discuss the, the, the uses for DBAN, when you would want to use it and what it's not really you know useful for. So first of all, let's talk about what DBAN is not useful for, because that seems to be where there's a lot of confusion. You don't use DBAN if you just need to reinstall Windows, if you're trying to get rid of a virus, or if you are just wanting to wipe your hard drive clean so you can install another operating system. You don't need to use DBAN for that. For that, you just use a traditional format, or you don't even need to format. You can just go ahead and install the other operating system. It'll format the disk for you, and that's good to go. Now. For situations where you need DBAN, it's pretty simple. It's any situation where you don't want files to be able to be recovered. That might be when you're donating your computer, when you're giving it away, when you're bringing it uh, for some kind of hardware repair where the hard disk is kind of crashed and uh, you know you, you, you can't get anything really uh, to boot and they're going to have to format it anyway. Uh, you may want to go ahead and use DBAN simply to make sure that they don't recover your files if you had uh, pretty sensitive files on that. Um, but really, those are the uses of DBAN. It's not necessarily uh, for just reinstalling stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it's overkill. So those of you that are watching the other video and you're asking me questions like, you know, I need to reinstall Vista and I can't get this to work, you don't need to get it to work. Just go ahead and reinstall Vista or do a quick format on your hard drive or whatever. Um, or, you know, I want to install Ubuntu and um, I can't get DBAN to work. You don't need DBAN for that. Just go ahead and install Ubuntu and it's going to go ahead and partition and, uh, and, and format your drive for you. So I hope that clarifies a little bit more uh, what, um, you know, what the uses for DBAN is um, and what, or, or what the uses for DBAN are and what the uses for DBAN are not uh, and, uh, and, and kind of gives you a better understanding and when you need to, of when you need to use it and when you don't. So if you have any questions, by all means, please continue to post. Um, you can also send me questions at the address below, um, and I'll try to answer them in video. I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately because I've been sick, but uh, feeling better and uh, back in front of the camera. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.